As Mobile in Alabama prepares to open later this year as Airbus's first U.S. final assembly line, hundreds of new American Airbus employees have spent time in Europe getting ready for the big launch. The U.S. team have come over in groups over the past 18 months, spending up to six months at a time at Airbus's headquarters in Toulouse, but especially in Hamburg, Germany, training and skilling up. And, uh, enjoy the afternoon and see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye. I think the opportunity for the uh, Americans who are on the job for on the job training in Hamburg today, um, the opportunity is to learn about a broad uh, set of skills. Yeah. Uh, this is our philosophy of having people skilled not only for one particular uh, here piece of work, but for a broader range. And this is what they are picking up for the time being. And I think this is what they are enjoying as well, uh, to learn much more than they might have learned in a different company, uh, a pure US company, on the one hand. On the other hand, other hand, we are working in an international environment. They are learning how to work together with Germans, with French people, with Spanish people. And this is, I think, a very valuable experience for all of those who are here today. The U.S. employees have plenty of experience in the aerospace industry as engineers or mechanics, often on the defense side. Many were recruited at job fairs in towns with military bases. Coming over to Europe and working with their new European colleagues is a chance for both sets of employees from different cultures to learn from each other. Having to get around without the use of a car, we do a lot of walking, a lot of public transportation here, it's been nice not having to deal with a car actually. Um, also going to lunch together, I think that's been a nice part of the teams actually go and eat together instead of people sitting at their desk and, and eating and plowing through lunch that way. Since most of the American team come from the southern United States and were recruited in states like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia and Florida, working for Airbus allows them to stay close to home. I couldn't ask for more. Everything's gone smoothly. There's no communication uh, issues. Um, the facility's clean and well managed. Everything's gone smooth. One of the things that's surprising me is how young a lot of the people are here at the plant, but their, their knowledge is really high. They, they know their jobs. They do their jobs very well. Um, actually, yeah, I'm part of the cabin team, and especially for the galley installation. So that's the basic thing that we tell them to finish the work in according to the Airbus procedures and to the high quality. For some of these Americans, their six months spent in Hamburg is in fact their first time they've traveled outside the United States and they've been sharing their European adventure with their folks back home. My mom has blasted over Facebook to all of her friends about how I work at Airbus and I'm in Germany and I'm doing so great and, <laughs> and my dad the same way. And every time I talk to him, he's like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, I mean, I, I can't wait to get back home and, and produce the, the first aircraft in the, the U.S. I think it'll be great, a great feeling. As the morning and day shift teams greet each other, they all know the clock is ticking and they can't wait to start. The parts for the first made in the USA A320 for the airline JetBlue have been sent from Hamburg by boat to Alabama. Mobile will be open for business this September.